So are you finding you're getting water retention, weight gain on keto? This video is for you, okay? There's several scenarios, okay? It could be that you're low in vitamin B1. Vitamin B1 deficiencies will create fluid retention and edema in your ankles. Actually, it'll hold water. So you just need more nutritional yeast. Okay, next one, low potassium. Okay, so this is interesting because if you're not consuming enough vegetables, you're not gonna get enough potassium, okay? But if you're consuming a lot of vegetables, okay, and you're getting water retention, it could be you can't digest all that fiber. It's too much uh, for the microorganisms that you have. And there's two types of fiber, soluble and insoluble. And both of these types will retain fluid and water. And this is why sometimes when you eat a salad, you're thirsty. I mean, it's kind of weird. Like there's not a lot of salt in salad, but you consume the salad and all of a sudden now you have to drink a lot of water. Why is that? Because the fiber uh, retains fluid and your body will just will get thirsty because it, it's demanding that fluid to then bulk up to make the stool form and go through the system. So fiber is a, a hidden source of fluid retention. And let's say you don't have enough microbes to digest this fiber and you get constipated, okay? In fact, that can even increase your weight by three, four, even five pounds, but it's just water weight, okay? It's just water, it's not fat. So if you get bloated or constipated after introducing all this vegetable, then you need to cut it back because you're not ready to digest all those vegetables. So cut it back to a smaller amount and start consuming that for a while and slowly build up. So you could actually gain water retention by doing um, a low uh, potassium diet, by not consuming enough vegetables, or by consuming too many vegetables. So you're gonna have to test out and see what is gonna work for you. Um, if you can digest these vegetables uh, in the fiber and you have enough microbes, then that's what you wanna do. But you might have to work up to it because we really want the potassium from the leafy greens uh, because potassium pushes out the fluid, okay? So you can always take a potassium supplement as well or electrolyte with high in potassium. Uh, if you're doing a lot of salt and no potassium, that's another way that you can retain fluid. And of course, if you're consuming too many hidden carbs because carbohydrates retain fluid, uh, a low carbohydrate diet gets rid of fluid. But if you're doing carbs, you're actually like a fluid filled sponge. You're just retaining a ton of fluid. Okay, so these are the factors. Um, you're not going to gain actual fat on keto. It's just going to be mainly water weight. All right, thanks for watching. So we've been getting a lot of success stories, but I don't have your success story yet. So click the link down below and upload your before and after. I want to actually hear about your success story. I want to see your before and afters. And every week we do featured success stories. So click the link down below and share your success.